here we are, another big event for Eddie yeah. Hearn. Are you wish are you gonna change your name to Big Name Hearn or how do you like the Earn with Hearn with tag her. that like, everyone loves? I like Earn with Hearn. That's good. My, like I grew up around my dad was a very um, famous sports promoter in the UK. And when I was young, I always used to see uh, on the in the newspapers a nice little herner or urn with Hearn. So nice to see it's come to it's just that the Americans call me Eddie Hearns. And there's no S, but I like it. I, I, I want to be Eddie Hearns. I like it. Because as long as they're talking about you, that means they're paying attention, right? Yeah, yeah. and uh, we're here today. Obviously, this is something completely different. And I see people turn up. Look at, like, look at, I mean, we've got an hour and 20 minutes to go, but look at the kind of people that are turning up, right? The younger generation, the kids. And I think sometimes in boxing, people are a little bit archaic. And they, they almost, they want to grow the sport, but they don't really want to grow the sport, you know, like, it's like they don't really want to let people in. So, like the criticism now about this event, yeah, we understand that there'll be a lot of people watching this event, but they're not going to convert into boxing. Well, once they get in, it's our job to convert them, do you know what I mean? But unless you get them in, how do you convert them? So, we've got this massive opportunity here where we're going to be holding an event at Staples Centre with 20,000 people, with millions of people watching around the world, who are going to be watching these two guys fighting, but also World Championship box on the undercard. So if we can show them why we fell in love with the sport, will they fall in love with the sport? That's the big acid test. I'm so, um, I'm such a believer in boxing that I believe once you see it and feel it and touch it, it's very hard to let it go out of your life. Whether you're a fan, whether you're a promoter, whether you're a broadcaster, a reporter, you know, it's addictive, isn't it? So we want them to be addicted to the sport. This is some good momentum to follow up on. Uh, Devin Haney yeah, had a massive right, yeah. win last night. He's of the younger generation, yeah. just 20 years old. Do you have any? Does he have any plans to come out for this fight and gonna, take place yeah. of any activities? He's going to be in the card. So yeah, I mean, uh, and there couldn't be a better fit for Devin. You know, he's 20 years of age. He's the guy that you should be showing these kids. Look at this guy. You know, do you, do you like boxing? No, I don't really follow boxing. You know, I'm here to see Jake Paul and Logan, uh, Logan Paul and uh, and KSI. Well, just let me just show you this guy, Devin Haney. You know, watch him. Wow, I'm a fan. You know, and all of a sudden, they're sticking. And Devin's perfect for this. Billy Joe Saunders as well will defend his WBO world title. And you know, we're getting a. It's, it's funny because when I announced this card, I said we're not going to have any YouTubers or celebs on the card. We're going to have KSI and Logan Paul and we're going to have cele uh, World Championship Boxing. The fight fans said, you're a joke for putting a YouTube fight on. And now the YouTube fans are saying, you're a joke if you don't put on another YouTube fight. So now I've got Jake Paul, Logan Paul's brother, saying, let me fight and we'll see what happens. But this time around, you know, everything changed because I was asked to get involved in the first fight. And as a hardcore boxing fan, I was like, nah, it's not for me. You know. Where are you doing it? Manchester Arena. I said, that's the biggest arena in England. Don't be silly. Oh, who's broadcasting it? It's on pay-per-view. Pay-per-view? Are you mad? Sells, sells 20,000 tickets, sold out the arena, 1.3 million pay-per-view buyers. And you know what? The fight was quite good. Yeah, it was. So I went to the guys and I said, look, if you want to do it this time, let's do it properly. Turn pro. Respect the code of the sport. Lose the head guards. And the agents were like, no, they can't lose the head guards. I said, and I'm not doing it. I said, and you got to wear 10 ounce gloves. Oh. I said, because I promise you this time someone will get knocked out. If you get hit by shots you got hit by in that first fight with head guards and forward, I promise you someone will get knocked out and it'll be dramatic and it'll be prize fight. That's what it is. It's going to be a hell of a night, a great night of entertainment for the younger generation, for the older generation, because we got Billy Joe Saunders, quite a formidable champion in his time in the ring. How has uh, the acquisition of Billy Joe Saunders over to Matchroom been and the transition and preparing for this fight card for him? It's good. It's been early days. I mean, again, he, I've got a bit of sticks saying, oh, how can you put Billy Joe Saunders on this card? Same reason. Just grow his fan base. You know, I want to grow, grow his fan base in the U.S. Obviously, it'll be broadcast in the U.K. as well. Um, he's, he hasn't got the profile he should have and being part of a card like this would enable him to do that. I've got three fighters really who are all kind of queuing up for Triple G and Canelo which is Callum Smith, Billy Joe and Demetrius Andre. People either don't want to fight them because they're too good or too dangerous so they either got to fight each other or try and break through and get that big fight so we need to keep them active, we need to make sure their profile continues to rise and then 
land them in a big fight or just put them in with each other. With that wealth of uh, middleweight talent that you have with uh, Billy Joe and Canelo's over there, Andre's over there, have you ever considered maybe doing something like a, a tournament type of thing, like the World Boxing Super Series, where you throw them all in the mix? Would they even be amenable to that? Yeah, I mean, as it goes, um, like, tournaments haven't generally worked in the past. Like, the World Boxing Super Series has been good, some people have pulled out, some promoters have stopped the best going in. Like, if you're going to do a tournament, you need the best of the best, so you need everybody to be on board, you need all the different promoters to be on board, but we do have that middleweight and super middleweight mix at the zone, where something like that might be possible. So we're uh, just maybe an hour, all the young people, look at all the young people who are showing up, they're going to be excited to see this. Any final words or any insight for what the build-up is going to be like to November for the fight? It's going to be very different today. Like I've been told, just say a few words and let them two go at it. You know, this is what they do. So the first one might be a little bit cringe for me, you know, because like, they're going to go, yeah, your mum's this, your mum's that, you know. But it is what it is, you've got to embrace it and you've got to understand that these people are here because there is a boxing match happening and they wouldn't be here if we had a press conference for a standard fight. Right, right? exactly. So let's welcome them, let's shake their hands and let's hope they enjoy the experience from start to finish. You don't want to be stuck up boxing fans like we typically are. No, but that's, but that's almost what it's like. You know, on one hand you want to grow the sport, on the other you don't want well, the casual fans. We don't want the casual fans. Cool. The casual fans are what makes the sport huge. You, know, you look at American football. These people aren't like watching it all day, researching it all day. They're going to work and then on the weekends they're saying, right, who's playing? Yeah, I'm in. That's the same. That's what boxing's got to be like. You know, the fans have got to say, oh, boxing? Yeah, who's on? You haven't got to follow it religiously. You haven't got to watch content every day repeatedly. But the more hardcore fans, the better. But, you know, you've got to make people boxing fans. And these people wouldn't be here today if these two weren't headlining. That's right. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you.